you get the show, it's it's created as a vehicle for Lisa Bonet. Yeah. She goes away after year one. Nowadays, probably the show would be canceled. <laughs> okay? Yeah. They'd be like, well, it, it's, it's a vehicle for this person. This person no longer wants to be a part of it. What happens when you guys find out Lisa Bonet is not coming back? What is your feelings? What are your ideas? Like, is everyone freaking out? What's the... What kind of space are you guys in when you find out that's happening? I, me, personally, I was uh, angry because my job was to be a thorn in her side. Right. And I thought, well, what am I going to do now? Mm. Like, <clears throat> they wouldn't give me this or that. It was her. Yeah. And then at the end of season one, all of it paid off. Yeah. And she finally saw him. Mm-hmm. So I thought, okay, now this now this is going to take a whole other direction. And yeah. we, we're going to see some stuff. Mm-hmm. But when they told me, she, you know, when we got the call that she wasn't coming back, I was kind of angry. I was yeah. like, well, then do I need to be here? Yeah. Not like I wanted to quit, but I just was like, I don't understand where. What's my what purpose direction. in this yeah. space? Yeah. yeah, where do we go? Jasmine? Yeah, I yeah. agree. Um, she was the hub. She was yeah. our Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and I felt that um, how am I going to how how am I going to be funny without her? How am I going to be um, interesting without her? Because it was our contrast that I used. That's right. How am I different from this baby and why am I being so mean to her? Well, she has everything I don't have. She mm-hmm. has a family. She has children that love her. She has yeah. siblings. Mm-hmm. I'm an only child. Yeah. My parents are divorced. Mm-hmm. I have been raised, a, a, you know, probably in prep school with a bunch right. of white people. Yeah. She was my nemesis because I was jealous of her. Mm-hmm. And I always had to equalize her. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. I I really didn't know what else that basis would be. And this was before we found out that they were going to put Dwayne and Whitley together. Right. So as an individual actor, first of all, um, I just thought the show was over. I was like, oh, well, I'm glad I'm back in my apartment. I don't, I'm not in L.A. on my, right. on my girlfriend's couch. You know, right. I'm already here. Right. Let me get backstage. Right, right. Yes, yes, just backstage. So is next? there a Wiz a tour? Newspaper. Right, right, right. Is there a Wiz <laughs> tour? Right, right. But when when Debbie called me, and that was the first time, first of all, she, you know, she wasn't the, the producer for the first season. So when she called and said she was the producer, and she explained the dynamic of um, these two characters getting together. You know, I told her too. I was like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> I said, "I'm upper classman. Why would Whitley like Dwayne? Why, 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 why?" She's like, "Oh, darling, just you know." She's always telling me to shut up. <laughs> right. That, shut up and do was. as you told. Right. 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 You know, and so, it was a good thing you did. Yeah. I, you know, there's a lot of surrender with a different world because I, I just never knew how that character was landing, and politically, mm-hmm. she was so, you know, diametrically opposed to who you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And wrong. Yeah. And wrong. And wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. And wrong. Strong and wrong. <laughs>